Hello! Welcome to the podcast. I'm Christopher. And I'm Jonathan. So yeah, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell the story. I'm gonna tell my story of how I got my Hogwarts letter and my Pottermore experience. So I was lucky enough to get in to the uh, early, early beta for Pottermore. I wasn't one of the very first people, um, but I was on there a good six months before it opened to the public. Um, I tried to get Jonathan a place, but <laughs> it was already gone. Basically, what they did to... Um, to, to, for, for you to earn a place in the beta was there would be a series of questions that there were over a, a series of seven days there'd be one question from each of the books and there would be like say 300 spots for the the, the first 300 people who would who successfully answered that question would guarantee them a spot in in the beta i knew it was happening on this day and i stayed up all night long i stayed up all night long clutching my copy of of philosopher's stone well my digital copy of philosopher's stone <laughs> <laughs> and right the minute when the question popped up i still remember it it was the question the question was how many different species of owls are featured in the ilops owl emporium sign in diagon alley i flipped to it found that it was three i can't remember the exact ones i know that that snowy owl and barn owl are two of them snowy owl and barn owl and i don't remember maybe screech owl is the other one um, but I typed it in and I got, and I got a spot. So, and well, I typed it in and it, it said to wait. And then I waited with bated breath. It was like, did it get in? Did it get in? Did it get in? Later, like the next night I got an email that yes, I got in. So I, then, then I tried to, uh, stay up all night and get Jonathan a spot. Nope. I was there even the minute it was already gone. Wow. It was that fast. So I was really lucky to have gotten a spot. But then I waited because, I, of course, I had already filled out all my information with the email and signing up. So I had my username, I had everything, but I couldn't log in yet because they had to email me when my account would be ready. So I waited a month, two months, three months, one day. I wake up in the morning and I see this email from Pottermore. Of course, I'm I'm short of breath now. I open it up and it's not like any email I've ever seen. This was a scroll of paper coming out of an envelope with a purple seal. And it was done like a Hogwarts letter. And it said your account for Pottermore is finally ready. And I knew that logging into Pottermore, you'd get to explore Hogwarts, you get to explore Diagon Alley, you get to get your own wand, you get to get sorted into uh, your Hogwarts house. And I leapt up, cheering and squealing, flew down the stairs. I'm not even sure how the stairs still existed. I, 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 I think I took a flight ran to the computer, entered in, and I was there. I was in Pottermore. It was a really surreal experience because it was totally set up like getting your Hogwarts letter. And I'm kind of sorry for uh, Pottermore users now because you can just log in and then you're there. Yeah. Um, sign up and log in and you're done. You don't get a beautiful like letter that looks like your, your Hogwarts acceptance letter. Um, but so so I went through, and I wasn't so concerned about what kind of wand I would get. I'm actually really happy with it. It's it's um, ebony ebony uh, wood, fourteen and a half inches. I it's think. really long. It's almost fifteen it may be inches. Fifteen. It, no, uh, it's no. not. It's not. I think more it than might 15. be fourteen and three quarters. I think it's fourteen and three quarter inches long, with unicorn, unicorn hair. tail hair. Yes. Right, because it's not phoenix feather and it's not dragon heartstring, so it's unicorn 
tail hair. But then came the time for the the sorting. And I got really, really nervous because I knew I wanted to get into Ravenclaw. And I really thought about those questions, but I answered them all quite truthfully, um, trying to just be myself, and yeah, I got sorted into Ravenclaw, and it was awesome. So Jonathan, of course, got sorted into Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff which, yes, which, which I'm quite, happy about. quite fits him, and I don't exactly remember your wand. Uh, it's, it's, it's Rowan, ten and three quarters inches with unicorn tail hair. Nice wood. Which, nice wood. interestingly enough, Rowan bearers of Rowan wands will find good friends in bearers of elder wands. Hmm. So interesting. I just think that's interesting with all the infamy about elder wands. With all the infamy about elder wands. The infamy about elder wands is mainly superstition. Yes. Yeah. That's part of the thi that is the fun <laughs> thing about Pottermore. What Pottermore is is it basically is a sort of behind the scenes of Harry Potter. Well, it's a it's two things. It's what, your own there, experience. Too. There there are, there are two things. You are of course the the main attraction of Pottermore is well behind getting sorted and getting your mm -hmm. wand and you know you can make potions you can duel people in casting spells that's really fun. Potions is awesome by the way. But the main the main kind of event of Pottermore is the story mode, the storybook. And what it is is basically a, a interactive, semi-interactive um, picture book to go along with the seven Harry Potter books. Because there, there's generally... Um, one or two or three or four moments per chapter of the books. And you get to kind of look around and see these beautifully, beautifully painted um, art images where you can zoom in and out and interact with objects, um, like making the door creak and slam open when Hagrid comes, making the fire, you know, burst up and... and, and diminish, opening and looking at different uh, handwritten letters, like you can actually see um, Harry's acceptance letter. Uh, in Chamber of Secrets, you get to put the um, the flu powder in, in the fire and go through the flu network. So there's a lot of interaction, and one thing that I'm really excited about is uh, the, the, the one thing that I was cheering for and, and saying you really need to add this throughout the beta of Pottermore was you need to have sound effects. Now there are sound effects everywhere, and it really enriches the the uh, interaction and immersion into the world. But what I think is my favorite part is the original writing by J.K. Rowling on various different background histories, backstories, various information about um, you know, w the wizarding world in different parts of the world besides just England. Like, there's a whole, like, three long articles on, uh, you know, wand woods and wand cores and wand, and wand lengths. Wand and lengths also as flexibility. Well, and also flexibility of your wand. Um, of course, there's all this information on the Quidditch World Cup, which is just beautiful immersion in the world. Um, you learn backstories about, like, Minerva McGonagall and Remus Lupin. Um, and there's also quite a lot of new information about Quidditch as well. Um, so currently they are roundabout up to the middle of Goblet of Fire in their release schedule. They're slowly releasing um, chunks of the books. Uh, the 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 biggest fun thing about Pottermore is that there is basically a, a twice annual. Um, it's around about every six months because there have been five so far. Mm -hmm. um, there's awarded the Hogwarts House Cup, and the four houses, of course, compete uh, 
to gain points and and win the the house cup Slytherin has won twice, Gryffindor once, Hufflepuff once, and finally Ravenclaw. So all four houses have won the House Cup at least once, which is really, really nice. Yes, um, the last way... time Hufflepuff won. Yes, last time about. Hufflepuff won. I think it was Slytherin, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. So the way you earn points is, of course, dueling people um, with your magic spells, uh, making your potions, which is delightfully fun car it's hard because you you have to be very precise in your in your timing mm -hmm. and i'm out of practice um you can also get uh points by finding objects throughout um the the story moments and actually there's been new content added to, to even the philosopher's stone yes. philosopher's stone chamber of secrets so even if you've gone through all of it once you can go back and go through it again and even find more. I think there are actually complete new moments that have been yes. added. So I really need to find the time to sit down and just go through it all. Yeah, so do I. But yeah. J.K. Rowling really intended it to be like used alongside the books. Yeah. So if you like go through a moment, she wanted you to read the chapter that goes along with that moment. And I think but that would be really fun to I think, do. I think it to, would be to nice be... to get a book study together and read through the Harry Potter series going and through Pottermore. Going through Pottermore. Yes. I think that would be really fun. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's all for today. So for the podcast, I'm Christopher. And I'm Jonathan. And thank you for listening.